today what I want to do is just bring our attention to a few things on the rewards of wisdom. Uh, just to motivate us to seek God with wisdom. And then I want to close by just reminding us that we, you and I as believers actually have access to the wisdom of God. Well, let me just bring our attention to a few things this morning. Number one, honor and favor. We all desire honor. Honor comes in so many ways. Promotion, maybe in your workplace. And favor, divine favor on your life. The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the legacy of fools. Maybe it comes as a promotion. Uh, maybe it comes as a, 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 a good reputation. Maybe it comes as a recognition. Honor comes on your life when you walk with wisdom. You ask God for wisdom in whatever, you know, whatever role you have in your place of work or in your area of responsibility. Ask God for wisdom. God, your word. I'm putting your word to work in my place or my workplace. My situation. I want to walk with your wisdom. And let your wisdom that is seen through my work. Give me the favor that I'm looking for. But number two. When you walk with wisdom. You are on an upward trend. Not on a downward spiral. The way of life winds upward for the wise. So how do you ascend? How do you go up in life? How do you get to higher places in, 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 in your life situations? We walk with wisdom. I like how the uh, uh, easy to read version puts this. It says, what wise people do leads to life. What wise people do leads to life. Number three, when you and I walk with wisdom, we solve problems, we're able to overcome and we have challenges in all different areas of life. It could be in your workplace, in your family, uh, in relationships. Sometimes it's financial. But in those situations, I want to encourage you and me to pray and ask God for wisdom. It's as simple as God, give me wisdom. Show me how to handle this situation. And he will give you. And you will be able to solve the problem, overcome the challenge. Number four, wisdom walk enables us to build and prosper. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3 and 4. Let's read it, please. Through wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. So this is a picture of building something and then seeing it prosper, seeing it flourish. So many of you are building. You're building businesses, building families, building your children, uh, maybe building your professional careers, whatever. You, your various things. You want them to grow. You want them to get better and stronger and bigger year after year. What's the key? Through wisdom, a house is through understanding, it flourishes, it's established. And through knowledge, all of these things begin to increase and flourish. But remember, through wisdom, a house is built. Last one. Wisdom brings, this is the next few verses. Wisdom brings strength, safety, and success. Proverbs 24, verses 5 and 6. Let's read it together, please. A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases strength. For by wise counsel, you will wage your own war. And in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. And we need that. We need strength for the journey. We want to, uh, if possible, uh, avoid the pitfalls. and Not necessarily have to learn hard lessons by going through it. But we can avoid it. Safety and success. We want to see a good reward of whatever you're doing. That becomes possible when we walk with the wisdom of I just want to bring our attention to this truth that as believers, we have access to the wisdom of God. So, I want to encourage you, having understood the importance of walking with wisdom, the fact that wisdom is available to you as a believer, now begin to tap into it. And it's as simple as saying, God, give me wisdom. 